Recently, I'd ranked up to level 1000 in GTA Online. In that time, I've made over $1.2 billion, spent over $740 million, played over 7,000 hours, and killed almost 20,000 players. I've bought every business and property I could, owned around 300 vehicles, all the helicopters and planes I could ever want, and generally act like money is not an issue. So I wondered what it would be like to get rid of all of that wealth and start all over again. This is my journey on how I went from riches to rags. Previously on Riches to Rags. But what I was most excited about was finally getting to start my first heist. This is it. Our first task was pretty simple. We had to look at a bank, take a look, then drive somewhere else to get in another car, and run Lester over because it's funny too. We had to use my friend's black armored Karuma to rob some very dangerous criminals of their black armored Karuma so we could use the black armoured Karuma to rob a bank. But somehow we did seem to know a lot about my actual social life. Wild, insane, mind-blowing orgies! Drilling complete and bank looted, all that was left for us to do was to get picked up by this giant magnet and take it off into the sunset. Now it was time to meet everyone's favourite psychopath and permanent pervert, Trevor. I then asked Trevor what he thinks about GTA YouTuber The Professional's videos. I'm not fucking interested! One minute and 16 seconds later, I'm now $101,000 richer and I can now afford my arcade. After being rudely interrupted by some Asian bitch, we got talking and I invited her and Lester along to one of my next orgies. Uh, sure. Come back to my hotel. And we're back. After completing some more jobs to replenish my bank account and winning 40k on a diamond casino's lucky will, I was now ready to get on with my first casino heist. In preparation for the casino heist, I hired a buzzard for just 25,000, which would make it easier to destroy the 50 signal jammers dotted around the map in order to unlock the expert hacker A.B. Schwartzman for free. This also meant that I did not have to fork out even more millions in order to retain Paige Harris. Destroying each signal jammer gave me $2,000, which was a total of $100,000, plus the 50k bonus for destroying them all. After joining my Beatstown crew, the RP from the signal jammer destruction meant my crew ranking was shooting up. It wasn't long before I'd ranked up to Trigger. I think we're on a winner here, three. Alright, play it nice and cool, son. Nice and cool, you know what I mean? <laughs> Drink up, drink, drink up, we're leaving. Now that I was a proper business owner, I was going to need to look the part. I managed to get my hands on this very nice suit for free, which was the funeral director suit without the hat on. All suited up, I then had to join the dreaded public lobby in order to start my first casino heist mission. Welcome to my app. Yeah, I wrote it. <laughs> this involved me traveling all the way to Blaine County to look at some dead bodies, then traveling back into the city to create more dead bodies. I then had to steal this truck and deliver it to my arcade. After arriving back at my arcade with my new heist prep equipment, I overheard Jimmy talking about his new Viagra tablets. It's not working! These dumbass pieces of shit! And then about how his new electroshock nipple clamp's not working. Are they plugged in? <laughs> oh! All this Viagra and nipple clamp talk got Lester really excited. Coming! With Lester also trying out Jimmy's Viagra tablets, he was now confident of making the most of the orgy with the Asian bitch and her friends. By the time I'm done, I will do them all. Hi! <laughs> you remember Miss Chang? Call me Asian bitch! And Huang? Yes, great. The place looks great. Good work. There's going to be three parts to our heist. Lester then set out explaining just how easy it would be to rob a casino five times a night for the next six months. This time they're all going to be much more um, interrelated. You see, what you scope sets up what you can prep, which then sets up how you do the score. Depending on how hard you look, you might find one exit route, or you might find a few, which then gives you different options. Ideally, if you scope it right, there will be three main ways to do the job. Number one, aggressive. 
Number two, silent and sneaky. Number three, the big con, you know, like subterfuge and with variation on how we can pull off all of these. Like, uh, like this. Are you with me? Still pumped full of Viagra and horny as hell, Lester spilled our backup plan if it wasn't going so well at tonight's orgy with the Asian bitch. You're going to transition to the more aggressive approach and you keep on pushing. It's amazing. If only we could keep on doing it. Yes, but let's start by just doing it once. Okay, well, take a look at the board. And when you're ready, you know what to do. <laughs> Before getting to work on my first approach, I decided it would help me concentrate by first rubbing a small mouse against the planning board. I then had to scope out the access points and the points of interest at the casino, which were here, 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 and here. There was one more point of interest in Miss Baker's office, but I couldn't access it yet having not purchased a casino penthouse. Scoping out the casino also gave me the opportunity to unlock the most annoying, pointless and worst character to ever appear in GTA in the form of this bellend, Young Ancestor. Oh, this party fucking sucks! Yeah, this sucks! Listen up everybody, at the party, my penthouse, right now, who coming? I'm coming bro! Uh, her, her, her! He's with her, I guess. Him, her, her, definitely not you. I need three bottles of tequila and a ballpoint pen like I asked for last time, yeah? And the mirror you guys keep putting on the fucking wall, I need back on the table, okay? Back on the table! Of course, of course. However, like the rest of us, he was clearly pissed off with the amount of clickbait videos about the alleged content in GTA 6 from tossers like Mr. Boss for the win. Anything goes, man. This bullshit! Give me that! Now it was time for me to scope out the contents in the vault. Let's find out what's in that vault. To do this, I had to stand near a man with my phone out while watching him clearly have no idea where he was going. I then had to hack access to the casino security cameras to find out what I would be stealing from the vault by using my nose. Sniff around for whatever else they have tucked away down there. You might find something we can use to our advantage. Ah, what's that look like? The green stuff, huh? Yeah, it's too much currency, so we'll still need to launder it through a buyer. Couldn't be hard, though. Head back to the arcade when you're ready. I did wonder what must be in those green boxes that must be so expensive as to risk life, limb, or certain imprisonment if we got caught. Okay, now that we know what we're stealing, it's time to choose how to steal it. I was given three choices of approach. Silent and stinky. Now I'm not meant to have favorites, but <laughs> if you've ever seen me creeping into your bedroom and videoing you in your sleep, you'll know this one's for me. The big con or group sex. The big con. It's catfishing IRL. <laughs> and who doesn't like pretending there's someone else and making a mark look stupid? All guns blazing and aggressive. Aggressive. Grr. <laughs> this approach relies on going in hard and fast and violent and catching security on the back foot. Having already decided on my plan, I opted for the aggressive approach. Aggressive it is! Why didn't I guess? <laughs> it may seem the simple choice, but we've still got some options to consider. Going in hard and fast, well, you better be prepared. They're gonna hit back with everything they've got. Now the crew! Next up, I had to decide on my high screw, who I'd have to give way too much money to for doing little to nothing. I still had three gunmen locked, so I opted for Gustavo Mota, as he had a good gun for headshots. Mr. Mota! Gus the gun! <laughs> Fine choice. My getaway driver, who does no driving whatsoever, was Kareem Denz, as he would take the smallest cut and would only be in the vehicles for a short time anyway. Kareem was never the best. Probably a good thing he's no longer a wheelman. Still, he should be able to source us some getaway vehicles. And as for the hacker, I chose Christian Feltz. I plan to take two other teammates with me, so he should give us just enough time to collect everything we need. If you like your hackers minus a personality, sure. Can't go wrong with Christian. Before I went out to collect all of the heist prep equipment, Lester told me about his time working with monkeys at an air conditioning manufacturers. I've seen a lot of shit, had a lot of fans in my day. To see how I got on sourcing all the heist prep equipment and taking on the casino, be sure to join us in the next episode of Riches to Rags.